This is the tale of Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit with no idea of the adventures about to befall him or their consequences. My precious, it must know the way out! the trees. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Bilbo Baggins was a respected hobbit. He lived a comfortable life and never had any adventures. So Bilbo was rather surprised when Gandalf the wizard invited him on a great adventure. He politely declined. But not before accidentally inviting Gandalf to tea. The next day, Gandalf arrived with 13 hungry dwarves. They ate everything Bilbo had to offer, then sang sad songs and listened to their king, Thorin Oakenshield. At dawn, we begin the quest of Lonely Mountain. We will win back our ancient kingdom under the mountain, reclaim our treasure, and have revenge on the cursed dragon Smaug. King Thorin, you need a burglar to steal into Lonely Mountain. Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. Huh? Oh. Excitable little fellow, but fierce as a dragon in a pinch. men and elves! What's this? Well, Baggins, you've dreamt your way into this. You'll have to dream your way out!
Good damn you filthy rat bags! Tear them apart! It was just a dream. Just a dream. But what an adventure! Despite his fear, something awoke within Bilbo. He wanted to visit distant lands, explore caves, and carry a sword instead of a walking stick. To his own astonishment, Bilbo agreed to go. You've slept half the morning, Mr. Baggins. That won't convince Thorin that you're a fierce burglar. Hm. I'll show him if I have to walk to the east of east and fight the wild wereworms in the last desert. For now, you'll just have to walk to the Green Dragon Inn. The dwarves are waiting. But can No time for it, and no time to pack. Just fetch your walking stick. Who knows where you will end up today? <laughs> What's this? My pocket has sprouted a hole. Oh, my silver pennies must be scattered all over Hobbiton. I was thinking about Bulrora Toot. You know all about Bulrora Toot, don't you? Of course. He's my great, great, great. He was quite an adventurous hobbit. Won the Battle of the Greenfields, he did. Knocked the Goblin King's head clean off with a wooden club sailed through the air and went right down a rabbit hole. Well, that's where we got the game of golf. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. Ah, Bulwur Took. I wish you young people knew more of your histories. I seem to have lost my quilting needle somewhere in town. If you find it, could you please bring it to me? Certainly, Gamma. Bilbo Baggins, I saw your visitor. Are you meddling with wizards? Wizards are meddling with me. Another lad going off into the blue for mad adventures. You might as well be some use before you go. Fetch my butter churn, please. Where is it? It's in the shed round the corner. Just place the butter churn on the porch when you find it. Have some berry crumble tea cakes. I made them fresh this morning. Oh, and Bilbo, watch out for that wizard. We need a lot of food on our journey. I saw a dwarf wandering around town. Did you see him? had a beard so long he tucked it into his belt. And he was dressed so outlandishly. He must have gotten lost on his way to breathe.
heard there was a wizard skulking around Hobbiton. I heard he was seen near your place. I hope he isn't causing any trouble with his dangerous fireworks and putting spells on the crops. Why can't he leave well enough alone? We don't want trouble here. I wish someone would ask him to leave. Well, the best apples in all Hobbiton are in that apple orchard. I'd get some if I could claim those cliffs. Hey Bilbo, wanna play some hide and seek? I'm afraid I'm in a bit of a hurry. We'll go hide, you seek. Ready, go! Children. The bridge is out. But I need to get to the other side. I could fix it, but I'll need my hammer and nail. Fetch me hammer. I saw Carl playing with it up by the waterfall. There are some jars in the mill. You'll have to break them open to get the nails. Bring back me hammer and nails and I'll fix the bridge. Pardon me, Carl. Do you have your father's hammer? He needs it to fix the bridge. Here it is, Mr. Baggins. I'll have to find something else to play with.
good lad. This shouldn't take long. Good, isn't he? Hello, Bilbo. We still need more supplies for our journey. If you happen to find any provisions, bring them back to me. Good morning, Lorella. Good morning, Bilbo. Bumber the Dwarf tried to buy some sugar and spice, but I couldn't find the keys to my spice chests. Your mother had a talent for opening locks without a key. Do you have that talent too? Pick the locks on those chests and you're welcome to all the spices you need. Still need a few provisions before we can go. Those scarecrows are useless. Look at those crows sitting there mocking me. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll give you a sack of wheat if you get rid of those crows. Ah, very well. I thought I'd never get rid of those crows. Creeping round the berry patch. You're too good at this game. Still need a few provisions before we can go.
Bilbo. Did you find my quilting needle? Here it is. Thank you, Bilbo. Please take these sausages. The best in Hobbiton. I've got all the food Bomber could possibly want. At least for the afternoon. How did you find me? Thank you, Bilbo. Perhaps you'll be some use to us after all. Now get into the Green Dragon Inn. The others are waiting. It's about time you arrived, Mr. Baggins. Let the journey begin. He regretted leaving home almost immediately. In the dangerous lonelands, they found themselves cold, wet, and low on food. Suddenly, Balin noticed the light of a fire. Forin sent their new burglar, Bilbo, to investigate. I'm catching cold. Could you please bring me a Burberry plant? Now it's the burglar's turn. Scuttle off and investigate that fire hunt. See if it's safe. A wolf! It certainly doesn't look as friendly as our Shire hounds. Oh! 
One was bad enough. Those ledges look treacherous, Bilbo. If they are too far apart, use your walking stick to help you jump. Good luck, Bilbo. Oh, Burberry leaves. Just what Keely needs for his cold. Oh, thank you, Bilbo. creatures. the water level, perhaps I could make my way across.
can't go back now. Oh my. Ugh. Mutton yesterday, mutton today, and blimey, it don't look like mutton again tomorrow. Not a blinking bit of man flesh have we had. Shut your mouth. You can't expect folk to stop here just to be eat by you and Bert. <gasps> Three wicked, huge trolls. Oh, oh I, I'd better tell the dwarves. Oh, but they'll just say that a really first-class burglar would have picked the trolls' pockets. Oh, wait, a pocketbook. I could sneak past them when they aren't looking and take it. Oh, I'll need to stay away from those noisy leaves, though. can tiptoe past him while he yawns. Tasty. What is it? 